guys, it's Abby Chantal here and as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm sharing a story time with you today. So the story time that I'm going to be sharing with you is the time that I got blackmailed over text. Now I know that title sounds pretty dramatic and intense as you're probably thinking, but it really wasn't as extreme as it sounds, like it was just kind of dumb, like this person was just being dumb and creepy. And you'll understand what I mean when I get more into this story, like it wasn't really anything that was going to be serious to either one of us, but it still was just, you know, weird. It has literally been four months since I posted this story time video and that is far, far too long because I have so many story times and I really want to share them with you guys. This isn't one of my like best story times, it's like kind of in the middle because I have some really really good ones, some like medium ones. There's not actually many people like that know me that know about this story. I think like one or two people knew but whether they remember or not is a whole, whole other situation. Before I get into the video, if you're a new viewer to my channel, then please be sure to subscribe. The button is just down below and it's free. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and be sure to follow all my social medias if you want to keep up with me in different ways. I have an Instagram and a Twitter. So this story takes place four years ago, as I previously said, so that would be 2013. Wow, 2013 seems like a lifetime away. Back in 2013, I had turned 14 in May and this story time takes place just after I was 14, I'm pretty sure. And literally so much happened in 2013, like that was when I got my first boyfriend, first breakup. I suppose that was just kind of the age where I was starting to grow up a little bit and just experience different things. There was this person from my school and I was talking to them on text message and for the purpose of this video I'm going to keep their name private just because like it's not very nice to share things about people on the internet, especially things that happened a long time ago when we were like teenagers. So, like I said, I'm not going to say the name, I'm just going to call them T because I don't want to identify whether it was male or female, just for privacy purposes. And I had been talking to T for quite a bit now and we were pretty close, but there was always just thing a little bit like weird about them. Like, they were very nice sometimes, but they also had this other like darker side. They were the type of person that would kind of start trouble and from time to time they'd act a little bit weird, just saying weird things that made you question whether they were like sane or not. People who know this person will agree with me when I say they have like two sides, the very like nice, caring, funny, understanding side and the very like kind of different, rebelish, darkish side. There is this one night that I was on my iPod because back in the day I didn't have a phone, I had an iPod and it wasn't that great, like the home button kind of jammed and the volume wasn't particularly great but it was an iPod all the same and I was really happy that I got it. I'd only had it for about six months at this point because I'd gotten it around December, January time and this is how I'd communicate with the person most of the time and I would stay up pretty late if my parents left the Wi-Fi on and I'd been talking to this person one night and they said they were going to bed so I was like okay good night and then as I was going to bed a little bit later probably about half an hour later like my iPod started pinging which indicates me that the message had come through and I checked and it was from T. The first message that came through I'm pretty sure said I'm watching T sleep. So at first I was kind of creeped out and I was like, what a creep. But then I thought, no, it's just T playing around. They're trying to scare me. So I messaged back and I was like, don't be silly. I know it's you. You're just trying to trick me. Like, don't bother, you know? And they kept going on to say, no, I watch T sleep every single night. I'm right here standing over their bed. They have no idea that I'm watching them. So like I was getting really weirded out at this point. If it was a joke they probably would have said by now because most people don't keep on jokes for like ages, especially on text if they get called out like when someone says like you're just joking they usually give it up. So I just kept messaging back like no I don't believe you, like you're lying and they were just saying other really weird things. It's like a side note, I had school the next day and this person was keeping me up for like half an hour trying to like convince me that they were a girl watching them sleep. And eventually they started trying to convince me and I was kind of falling for it. Just the things they were saying really didn't sound like tea and they started getting really, really creepy and kind of aggressive. They were like, if you tell tea, I'm going to hurt them in their sleep. And I was like, well, how are you going to do that? And they said that they had a knife and they were going to like scratch them with it. Like not seriously hurt them or anything or not like cut them, just scratch them. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what? So at this point I was pretty convinced and like I could feel my heart beating. I was like, is my friend going to get like killed or something? And obviously being like 14, you don't really think logically. You just kind of think of the first like crazy thing that comes to mind, like, okay, this could be true then. And they were just like, if you care about tea, 
don't tell them and everything will be fine. So the next day I went to school and everything just went on as normal. I try not to think about the messages. I thought if this is just tea, then they're gonna forget about it. They're not gonna bother messaging me in that kind of creepy way, pretending to be someone else again. They'll just like forget about it and not bring it up ever again. And the day went on pretty normal. I saw them around school. They looked fine, they just got on with their day like I was doing and then that night around about the same time as I was trying to go to sleep another message came through and this girl just started being really creepy again saying like the same thing she basically said the night before and I was just like look I had to go to bed and stuff like that and before they would finish the conversation they would say like remember don't tell them or they're going to get hurt and then it'll be your fault and stuff like that so I was like no okay I won't now this is the part of the story that I can't really remember very well. I think this person ended up messaging my best friend at the time and trying to do the same thing to her. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it happened or if I messaged my best friend and said look T's phone has been sending me really weird messages saying that it's this girl and she's doing weird things in the night and yeah I can't remember which way around it was whether they messaged my friend or whether I messaged her. All I know was she ended up involved and we had decided the next day that we were going to tell T what had been happening because at this point we were pretty convinced that this girl was not T. So I remember the whole day going to school like feeling really like ill about it, just like really unsure what to do because at this point they'd completely convinced me that they were a real person and they were going to hurt T and T was my friend. I didn't want that to happen. So I kind of had this debate like, do I tell them or do I not? But I guess in that kind of situation, if it was real, I would want someone to tell me if something so weird was going on. So my friend confronted T later on that day around about lunchtime. We got them alone at a bench and we just sat them down and we said, look, this is what's been happening. This girl has been contacting both of us or either just me and I told my friend and saying they watch you at night sleeping and that they wanna hurt you and stuff like that. And my friend played along very well, pretending that they were really, really confused and that they had no idea any of this was happening. And I did ask to see their phone and see the messages, but when they showed me it, there was no messages. So obviously this girl had cleared them. That night when I got home, T FaceTimed me and wanted to talk more about the situation. And then they said, look what I found in my windowsill and they held up this like knife. It wasn't a very big one, but it was like a little sharp one. I think it might have been one of those, like, I don't know what the name for it is. One of those ones that, um, I think it's a pen knife, like one of the ones that you flick up. And they're like, I found this in my window. I've never seen it before. Like, is this part of what's going on? And this really freaked me out because I was like, oh my gosh, they have been in your room. They've left their knife behind. You need to get out of this situation right now. So they were acting all freaked out. I was all freaked out. I was telling my friend who was involved what was happening and T was just like, I really don't want to go to sleep tonight. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. But eventually we had to because like parents, you know, they're like, go to bed. And again, about half an hour later, this girl messaged me. She was like, I'm disappointed you told them and now they're going to get her and it's going to be all your fault. And I was really panicking at this point because obviously I'm here and they're in another area and I can't stop what's going on. And I was texting, I was like, no, you shouldn't be doing this. Like, don't do it. I'm going to tell someone, whoever you are, you're going to get in serious trouble. And they were like, no, I won't get caught. Like, I never do. And pretty much there was nothing else I could do that night. I ended up falling asleep literally like 2 a.m. in the morning because I was so uncomfortable by the whole situation. And then when I went to school the next day and I told my friend what had happened and we saw T around school and they had like scratches on the side of their face. So again, I confronted T and I said, look, look at your face. Like this is what the girl said she was going to do to you. Like something needs to happen. We need to get you out of this situation. And I'm not really sure where this story ends, to be honest, because nothing else happened after that. I never got any more messages from the girl in the room. And... T never said anything more about it. But when I was talking to my friend like a week later, we really thought about it hard. We came to the conclusion that this was all just made up and that it was completely irrational and that T had made this all up. You're probably wondering why anyone would do that to themselves. But honestly, like I said, this person, this whole other side to them that was just kind of like attention seeking and dangerous and rebellious. And it is something that they would do. I confronted T about this like a few months later and I even confronted them like a year ago and look do you remember this time like just admit that it was you and they're like no I have no idea what you're on about like I don't remember anything I don't even remember us talking about that I don't remember you telling me about this girl 
So I'm pretty sure if someone had told you something like that and you hadn't done it to yourself, you would remember. So they were pretty much lying. So that's pretty much all of this video. I'm not sure if it's going to be long or short because I've been rambling for so long, but we'll see. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more story times, then like I said, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps me out. If you made it to the end of this video and you're a true fan, then I'd like you to comment down below the letter T so that I know that you've watched the whole way through. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next Sunday with a new video. Bye!